Hello, and welcome to another iClone 7 Academy tutorial. Today's topic will be Advanced Morphs. We will divide this into two parts. Part 1 will be Advanced Character Morph Creation, and Part 2 will be Character Morph Animation. So let's get started. We will take this mesh and reshape it in our favorite 3D package. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to select, make sure that I have the character selected, and I go Export All and press OK and I'm going to go ahead and save this as a slacker source which is the unmodified mesh once we save that we're going to go ahead and take it into our favorite 3D package in my case is Maya so I'm going to go ahead and import that model so I'm going to go to file import and select our model which is slacker source and there it is. There's our mesh right there. So what we want to do is we're going to make this guy uh, make him feel like he's breathing very, very deep. So we're going to make his belly big, his chest big, and then we're going to make him exhale. So we're going to make his belly go inwards as he's letting all the air out. So let's go ahead and do that. How do we do that? Uh, you can use what is called a lattice or a freeform deformation. And um, I'm sure Blender has another name for it, but I'm sure also it has that kind of deformer. Now, I'm going to go ahead first and I'm going to select my vertices from the model. Notice here that uh, there is a, a, a little uh, display of where I'm selecting the vertices. And there's also, it's like kind of like a circle. What I have here is, is some kind of what is called a fall off. So one thing that uh, if you don't have this on right now in Maya, I'm sure you can do this in 3ds Max as well. I'm going to shift double click for the tool and you got to make sure that it's called you turn soft selection on. Otherwise, you do not get that circle. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that that's on. And uh, I'm going to go to my side view here. And I am going to select the vertices like so. And I want to make sure that the vertices select this go all the way to the bottom of the shirt because uh, we're going to extend this outwards. So let's go ahead and you can increase the radius of the selection by pressing shift period. And you will notice that it, that increases the radius of the selection there. And uh, not too much, because you. But you, you do want to make sure that you have the bottom ones here, the vertices at the bottom selected. And right now they are not. So let's go ahead and I'm going to press um, Control Shift to make sure that those get added as well, like so. All right, that's good. And because I have that fall off, uh, that is going to make a smooth transition when I pull the CVs out. Now, uh, one way you can control the radius of that fall off is pressing the B key and the left mouse button that increases and, and decreases the fall off ratio. So that's good to about there. Okay. Okay. So now that we have those vertices selected, let's go ahead and apply a lattice to those points. Uh, notice here that it looks like these points are still not being selected and, and it's important for us to have that. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, make sure they have those points down there selected as well okay that's good all right now let's go ahead and apply a lattice to those selected the vertices so i'm going to go to my deformers i'm going to go to lattice and i'm going to make sure my lattice is a four by four by four and i'm going to say create all right so this creates this mesh over here this uh this uh grid and this grid ma makes uh allows you to smoothly modify the mesh by selecting points from that cage. So I'm going to go ahead and select those lattice points and I'm going to start shaping the belly. So I'm going to select uh, these points over here, or maybe just all of these at the front. And then I'm going to go ahead and press a W for move. And I'm going to go ahead and extend that belly outwards a little bit like so. Okay. That's good. Uh, I'm also going to go ahead and uh, deselect the front ones here so those are not being affected and select the middle ones about there so we can round off the belly a little bit. 
click in, you want to press shift and select those points. So the middle rows are selected, it's selected now, and I'm going to use the scale. Okay. And this will allow me to make the belly a little bit rounder like that. Okay. That's pretty good right there. Okay. Now that's the shirt. That's, that's, that's what we want more or less. So now I'm going to go ahead and select the pants and do the same thing to that. I'm going to select the vertices. So I'm going to select vertices and uh, I'm going to right now going to go ahead and um, make my geometry uh, transparent so I can see uh, the pants under the shirt, what I'm selecting there. And uh, from the side view here, let's, uh, let's select the points. Actually, we should do it here as well. Let's turn x-ray on. All right. And uh, now let's select the vertices here so we can extend the pants as well. And uh, let's apply a lattice to that as well. So let's go ahead and uh, go to deform, lattice, apply. Okay. And now doing the same thing we did before, we're going to select the points on the lattice and we're going to start pulling things out. So press W and uh, pull that out. So make sure it's not crashing into the shirt here. So let's turn off X-ray now. Now that we have that selected, we don't have to, we got to make sure that the pants don't go through the shirt there. So, so that's pretty good. All right. So that's good. Uh, we'll leave it at that. That's good. So by the time you're done, I'm going to go ahead now and uh, select the full mesh here. And I'm going to tell it to delete the history. So basically you end up just with the deformed geometry like that. Now, sure, we can smooth this out a little bit. Uh, we can spend some time making this all nice and beautiful. Uh, right now, th th that's not the point of this tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and just move this character to the side. And uh, just make sure that um, uh, at least you got the, the, the basic knowledge on how to use the deformer and uh, how to re reshape the model. Notice that I did not add any polygons. That's very important. You don't add any, any vertices or polygons because otherwise you break the shape when you bring it in as a morph target. So by the time you're done, here's a, a, a more refined version of what we're looking for. Actually, that's the belly in. Let's, let's, let's get in the, the belly out first. So there's a more, a better shaped belly there. What we're looking for, for the, um, the inhale. And then afterwards I created, uh, other shapes for like, for the exhale. So the belly goes inside inwards. And then I also have another shape for the chest out. So that's the chest being pulled out. So now you have pretty much all the shapes that we need like that. And uh, we are going to go ahead. This is the original, the original shape without being any, without any kind of deformation to it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to save these shapes, these morph targets uh, that have been modified. The mesh have been modified and save them as morph targets. Again, you need to save this as OBJs. It's very important. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, and uh, save. Let's take this guy over here, the uh, the belly out first, and we'll call this one Big Belly. Next, we will select a mesh from that group to identify it. And then we go to the top of the node of that group by on the outliner. And then we'll export selection. We will call it something like belly big. That should be good. Go on there. And big. All right, so uh, we saved that shape. That shape, great. Okay, so uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna do the same thing for the other shape. So I'm not gonna show you this because uh, you know how to do this already. And now we're gonna go back to Morph, Morph Creator and gonna start loading those shapes in. All right, let's go back to Morph Creator and I start loading those Morph targets. Okay. So in here, I have already saved all our morph targets. <clears throat> and uh, let's bring in belly big first, which is the one we first created. All right. And now let's go ahead 
and uh, turning the dials on all the way in to 100%. So as you can see here, we have the morph target there. So that's exactly what we want. And now I'm going to go ahead and do the bake. And we'll call this belly 01. 01. And uh, make sure to remove source sliders upon creation. So we have a less, a less, uh, a small, uh, no mess here, basically. We're cleaning up whatever mess is here because sometimes you get extra sliders that you don't need. So I'm going to go ahead and press create. All right. So that's good. We got our first morph right there. The next morph, and notice that they're all in sync right now. So when I move one, they all move at the same time in sync. So that's working great. Now let's go ahead and make sure this is at zero and let's bring in the next morph target. Because if you leave this at a particular percentage, this will be added to the next morph. So make sure that this is at zero. That's very important. Now let's bring the next one, which is belly small. Same thing as we did before. We are going to turn the sliders on 100% for the belly small for all of them. So belly small, belly small, and belly small. Right there. So basically, he is inhaling right now. So it's, it's a, uh, letting all, uh, actually exhaling. <laughs> so he's letting all the air out. All right. Uh, so let's go ahead and bake this. And we'll call this belly O2. Okay. And make sure this is ticked in. So remove source sliders upon creation and create. All right. So now we have that morph target ready there. So let's go ahead and put every, make sure that they're all in sync. So let's remove one slider, all the sliders move. So great. We got that working great. Next, let's go ahead and bring in the chest puff up. So let's go ahead and uh, add the, create, click on the plus again. And uh, let's bring in the chest morph. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, puff up the chest as he inhales. Okay. So I know <laughs> this looks a little weird, but when you combine it, combine it with the belly one, uh, this kind of works really nicely. So so let's go ahead and uh, make sure that we just have the, the chest out 100%. Let's bake this. Call this chest and create. All right. Okay. So those those are the three key morphs we want. Everything seems to be working fine there. Okay. And uh, let's go ahead and take this into iClone. Now in iClone here, I have this scene where I have this character that is blowing the flag so so it's kind of like uh he wants to become the wind <laughs> so he's blowing really hard to make that fly flag move all right now um we're going to replace this character with a morph character with uh, our slacker however i want you to notice this notice that the character it is not selected right now in here in the scene so if we go into the morph and go send to iClone, so if we send this character into iClone, you will notice that that the uh, original character still remains there. And if I play the animation, he the character our slacker is not inheriting the animation of the uh, original character. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the character now, the slacker. I'm going to select this character here. So I want to make sure that uh, we have the full hierarchy here selected. So all the way to the root. So that's correct. So that, that works great. And now let's go, if we have him selected and we go back to the morph creator and we send it back into iClone, you will notice that the character indeed will get replaced. So now if I press play, it's him that is blowing away the flag. All right. So we will conclude part one right here at this point. 
and in part two i will show you how to animate characters with morphs and um we'll add also some uh, secondary hair motion as well okay we'll see you on the next one until then have a good night thank you